Yo, what? That's like three teams right there. Oh, we're about to become some party poopers. Let me just start off by saying this is definitely not how today's video is supposed to go, but let me take you through what happened. So here I am at the beginning of last night. My friend had just invited me for some casual duos. Casual, right? Or so I thought. I decided I wanted to play Edgar because I was just in the mood for absolutely team wiping people, and my teammate went Miko because, well, I have no idea. What I didn't know at the time was what was about to happen in the next two hours. If you've never played past 900 trophies in Duo Showdown, here's what I want you to do. Imagine Poop Spike. Now remove the spike, multiply that times 10, and make them spin. Yeah, those are what we call win traders. They've become quite a serious problem in the showdown community, and because me and Miko were playing somewhere around that 900 trophy range, it wasn't long before me and him had encountered them for ourselves. And that's when my emotions started fuming, because the last thing I want to see in my showdown lobbies is eight people spinning and all shooting at one team. So from that point forward, me and my teammate made it our life mission to kill every single win trader. There's something you should know though. There's a way to tell if there's win traders in your lobby before you even start the game. They customize their battle cards in a specific way so that they can identify each other. So this might be using the same pin, using the same profile icon, or even having no background. This game right here could possibly have two win traders, and if you didn't see why, rewind five seconds and see if you can catch it. I'll give you a second. There was a Melody and a Cordelius with no battle card background. It's not always a guarantee that they're win traders, but there's probably a good chance, and right here is the Melody. The best thing to do when you find win traders in your lobby is to eliminate them before they find each other, because once they find each other, you're good as dead. I'm not quite sure what that Melody was thinking, but uh, we put an end to that real quick. Now, Melody is actually a pretty good counter to both Miko and Edgar, but she doesn't have her dash right now. Actually, she does have her dash right now, so she's gonna dash away and still die. I'm pretty sure the other wind traders are right here in this bush. I know the Cordelius was in there and the Edgar. Okay, see, I'm telling you guys, it's all in the battle cards. If they got battle cards that are a little bit weird, they're a wind trader. And now I have 10 cubes because, well, we're just hunting down these teams one after another. Uh, what is Kit doing? Wow. Wow, what a jump. What a jump. I don't think anybody can even kill me now. I have 19 cubes. 19 freaking cubes? I lied. Maybe they can kill me. What is this Cordelius thinking? Uh, he must have balls of steel because who in their right mind just shoots out a 19 cube Edgar? I'm just going to take that kill. Easy. Let's go ahead and check this bush because who's going to stop me? My teammate is in the air. Edgar is still spinning for dear life. When is he going to learn? When is he actually going to learn? Okay, so I guess we have both teams in the Shadow Realm, right? There's, oh, caught my hypercharge, it is game over. That game got us up to 850 trophies, let's go. How about we get up to a little over 900? I think this was my last game for 950 trophies. Tell me I got this. Six power cubes versus none. I, I got this for sure, right? Did my teammate just die to a dynamite? Um, 14 cubes? Whoa, he, he popped his hypercharge. No! Let's go, 957. Somewhere in the early 900s, my recording stopped, and of course, that's when I had the craziest game. So here I am. I've got six cubes. I'd say pretty decent amount. But these two teams right here, they are very clearly win trading. And uh, no respect for them. Thumbs down all the way. Um, my teammate's going to die right away. I dodged that bomb somehow. Edgar's going to press me a little bit, so I have to jump. I jump onto this team because it is the weaker one. But now I'm back in the same position. At this point, I'm completely trapped. I do have my jump again, but now I'm getting pushed against the storm. I'm at 1,000 hit points. And it's only a matter of time before my hit points get chipped down all the way. I'm at 300 hit points. Somehow, I'm still alive. I try my best to heal up a little bit while everybody's still busy. I pop my hypercharge and I'm against this team. They have nine cubes each. They were both hypercharged. I get the triple jump on them and I wipe them out. I give them a thumbs down for losing while teaming. I'm somewhere around 50 trophies away from 1,000 trophies. 
Miko is already past that rank 30 mark though, so we're playing pretty up there. We have a melody right here. I don't want to get too greedy for that cube, but luckily Miko jumps in and snatches that up. So we've got a pretty good start. We're at three cubes. Unfortunately though, this team on the right side is kind of pressing us a little bit. Miko, I'm not too worried about, but Chester, I mean, Chester, I'm not too worried about either. They're kind of just being a nuisance. They're trying to team with us now. And, oh no. Oh no. Hell no. Not letting that happen. Miko, do that again. I swear I will kill you. I swear. Okay, this team is actually going to be annoying, though. I cannot jump on Rico. He has five cubes and a super. Do you know how fast he will obliterate me? Yeah, way too fast. Going to jump on this dynamite, though. Grab that free cube. Nobody else was really in the area right there. Ooh, I'm just barely going to be out of range from that. Uh, grab that Miko cube. Oh, no. Okay, we have to split up. And of course they come for me. Okay, I have to make think fast. What do I do? Pop my hypercharge, go in. Nope, nope, get away, get away, get away. Uh, that, that Rico would have killed me for sure. I'm gonna have to pop my gadget right away though. Get my jump back just, just for safety. I mean, having no jump in showdown with Edgar, you're just gonna get bullied. This team right here, we got a Charlie and a Miko. There's just too many Mikos right now. Miko severely messed up though because my Miko just dominated him. Charlie is actually quite an easy takedown as long as she doesn't have her super I will be able to jump on her and kill her very easily. The reason I'm not going in right now though is because that melody is right there and she will definitely press me if I go in. So I'm just gonna chill here camp it out with my teammate. My teammate has super. Now I'm gonna go in on the Charlie because she's cornered completely and then I can pop my gadget again for safety if I need it. I don't need it though. The melody didn't come up. Is this Charlie's teammate still? Is he? Did he somehow manage to get it back in the game? Um, probably, right? Okay, he's just gonna die to the storm. That's actually beautiful. We have 10 cubes. Honestly, I don't think there's any way we mess this up, but Rico has 10 cubes too, and he does a crap ton of damage. Um, if my teammate could take out Rico, that would be absolutely amazing. Yes, read my mind. Okay, now my teammate is, he's trapped. I have to go in. Wait, I, I, done, I didn't have to go in. He had a super. Dodge that. I knew you were going to jump on me. And this is game over. This is, tell me it's game over, right? There's no way Melody duos us. Come on. Why? Oh, no. Oh my God, I got it. Despite what you think though, I definitely didn't always make great plays. I mean, what is this? I did dodge that kit jump, but uh, yeah. And let's not talk about this one right here. Matter of fact, why did I even put this in the video? Majority of the games though, we were coming first and second place. We were playing hyper aggressive a lot of the time and getting those power cubes and we were closing in on 1K. Last hour was definitely coming in clutch with some crazy plays sometimes though. That one knocked us up to second place and there was just nothing we can do against 16 cubes, but one game away. And as much as I would like to say that this was the game that we got it, I just, <laughs> I sold. I sold very hard. And yeah, that happened. And we take a minus eight. Uh, after that game, we actually got a couple third places, which is minus three trophies, kind of ridiculous. But we were still popping off here and there, and we get this 16 cube win right here. Bumped us up to one game away again. This was actually our last game this time, but what better way to end it off than with some wind traders. That's right, if you didn't catch it, there's actually two teams of wind traders in this lobby, and going into this game, neither of us had caught it either. This team right here to the right is the exact team that I was hoping to run into because I can team wipe both of them quite easily. The funny thing is, these guys are actually the wind traders, and they are so bad. They're so bad. I didn't know these guys were wind traders until I saw this Cordelius, though. This Cordelius is a meme, straight up a meme. Because what is he doing? He just wasted all his ammo. So now I can easily just jump on him and get the kill. His gadget can't do anything if he doesn't have ammo. But unfortunately, I do die here to the surge. I do end up spawning back in and my Miko is still alive right in between these two wind traders and they're pinching him. But that's how you know they're terrible because I was gone for 15 seconds. He got pinched and didn't die. Come on. We're going to continue to chase after the Colt Dynamite team because they are the easy takedown. I try to catch this Cordelius off guard, but it does not work out for me. I'm not too worried about it though because I had zero cubes and the best thing that I can do is just try to get more cubes for my teammate so that he can carry me. I wouldn't recommend this with every combo, but when you have a Miko who can just easily escape and survive, it's, it's a good choice. I do have my hypercharge though, so I'm waiting to see when I can use it. My teammate gets thrown into the shadow realm. Surge is just gonna come annoy me. I pop my hypercharge and well, Surge is quite a hard counter for me. So uh, we're gonna ignore that. My teammate is absolutely clutch right here though. Look at what he does, epic jump, epic freaking jump. That was enough trophies to bump my Edgar over 1,000 and get me the rank 30. 
The reason I say this video didn't go the way it was supposed to go is because this wasn't supposed to be a rank 30 video. I was supposed to hunt wind traders. That's going to be it though, guys. If you guys did enjoy this, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. If you want to join the Discord, the link will be in the description, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!